are live at the Atlanta Recruiting Battalion. I'm Sergeant First Class Baskin. Last week, we had the opportunity to work with Rodrigo, who is certified KMI instructor. He got certified in Israel with Krav Maga. He's also a judo black belt. He's a second degree Brazilian Jiu Jitsu uh, martial artist. Well renowned, worked with the military all around the world, law enforcement agencies. And this is also in support of our combatives program, which we actually have in the Army. Today we got some simulated weapons, so this could actually be a bat, it could be an axe, it could be a stick, and for our next uh, weapon that we'll be using, this could simulate a knife. Again, please be careful when attempting these moves. We are always around trained professionals when we're doing this. And now I'm going to pass it over to our special guest, Rodrigo. Hey guy, what's going on? Uh, it's a big pleasure to be here again. And um, like Sergeant Baskin said, today we're going to demonstrate some defense against uh, against a bat, against an axe, against a stick, and a knife as well. Okay, um, those are very good. Uh, those are going to be great demonstrations because uh, that's happened quite a while, you know. And uh, you got to be ready uh, to defend yourself, even if you're a military a civilian. You got to be ready to defend yourself against a bat, against um, can be anything right here, like I said, and a knife as well. Another thing, uh, the knife is something very important because uh, even the fact that I have a, I, I carry a gun, if I got a, a gun fire, my, you know, if I have a gun, and a guy has a knife, it's very complicated because I don't have the distance to draw my weapon. That's why today I'm going to show you some great difference. Is that I need to defend myself first to get to be able to get a distance, and then I can draw my weapon in case if I have a weapon. Okay, you cannot think like, oh, I have a, a weapon, you know, I mean, I'm safe, you know, the guy has a knife. I need first defend the knife if I don't have the, the, the right distance, okay? That's why I got to work today. Absolutely. So we got a few different drills. I'm going to be the one going through with Rodrigo on these drills, and we'll get started. Okay. Drill number one. Drill number one, uh, we're going to do that kind of uh, full speed right here. So, but before, uh, this can be axed, like I said, and the part can kill at this part right here, okay, of the axe. That's why when the guy attacked me, let's say a bow, so my my my, my natural instinct to move back, to run away. So what are you gonna do? We're gonna do the opposite. As he attacked me, I'm gonna move forward, okay? I never I never put my hand, if he attacked me with a bat or axe, or see, I never put my hand like that because it might gonna break my arm. So what I'm gonna do, as he attacked me, I move forward. I'm gonna go like this. <clears throat> I trap in the frame. Right after, I'm gonna throw a knee on the joint. Boom! Hammer fist. Boom. Hold the arm, hold the stick, and <clears throat> break it out. I'm gonna do full speed right now, okay? You attack me, go. <clears throat> okay. The second attack. Drill number two. Drill number two. <laughs> So now, you're going to change the direction. What are you going to do? You're going to try to attack me like this. So another thing, the guy, the person, the personal criminal, that guy with the stick or the axe, you're never going to attack him like that. You're always going to need this, okay? So then it can cause more damage, okay? Like something like that or something like, like this, okay? So that's why the, new, uh, the drill number two, the attack gonna be right here, okay? This one, I need to move myself. As he attacked me here, I'm gonna move, and I'm gonna block, okay? As I block, push this down, hammer fist, frame, knee on the point, grab it again, break it up, and then disarm him, okay? The reason why I block, okay? We got a good example, give me the kick. That's why this guy decided to kick my rib. And just hold his leg like that, he might gonna break my ribs. When you move, I diminish the power. Boom. Okay? So that the same thing I do with the kick, I do with the stick. I need to move as I throw the stick right here. The bat, ha, I move and I defend. Push this down, and right away I strike. Boom! Frame, <clears throat> knee on the groin, grab again. You still have the weapon, right? I disarm it right now. So it's drill two, drill number three. 
So this is going to simulate the knife. So if you don't have a real knife right now, this is a simulation. Please, again, be safe if you guys are trying to attempt this at home. So the knife, okay? Everything can be a knife, okay? A screw, a little screw can be a knife. A pan can be a knife. A knife itself, it's a knife. So that's why you need to be careful, okay? In Israel, we have a lot of steps, okay? In Israel, civilian doesn't carry guns. That's one of the reasons why we have a lot of steps in Israel. That's why when I walk there, that's one of the most things I learned, knife disarm, okay? I also disarm the knife, and then I realized and I learned the importance to disarm and defend against a knife, even if I have a weapon. Because right now in the situation, let's say if I have a weapon, okay? You're gonna strike me a bow, okay? And then I got a block, <clears throat> kick the blunt, move it away, draw my weapon. Because I have the distance. I create a distance when I strike it. Now I'm gonna tell you guys why I strike. You don't want like some, some martial arts, some, some techniques. I see people trying to grab and hold or even just block. This is not good. The reason why? Because uh, when someone gets killed by stab, it's not like one, two, or three steps. Most of the time, the people stab, someone got killed by stab, the knife was like 50 stab, 20 something stab, 30 something stab. That means when the person stabbed you, you're not gonna go just once or two times. You go like one, two, three, four, and all the way, you feel angry. You know what I mean? So you wanna kill it, like do a lot, a lot of stabs. Like one, two, three, it doesn't stop, go all the way over, 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 over. That's why we punch. Because when I punch, I don't want to knock him out. I just want to lose the time for the second step. Okay, when I block, and I punch the face. So now we lose a little bit of time, I'm gonna kick the groin. And now I can move back, draw my weapon, and defend myself, okay? In that situation, I have a weapon. I don't chase his arm, I don't try to hold the knife, I don't try to disarm him. Because I just wanna create that distance, okay? Uh, the second situation right here, he gonna stab me. Drill number four. Yeah, drill number four. He gonna stab me long right here, okay? That situation, let's say I don't have my weapon, okay? I can be a military, I can be a civilian, I can be a, uh, uh, from law enforcement, okay? So if I just block, punch, and run away, if I'm in a place that are people, civilians, he might gonna stab somebody else. So what I need to do, I need to disarm him. Because if I defend myself and save my life, he's not gonna stab somebody else. And this guy has a knife, he's a dangerous guy. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna block, <coughs> chase his arm, boom, boom, wrist lock, and then take the knife. In that case, just from the pressure, my knife dropped out of my hand, not because I actually let it go from the move that he was actually doing. So we can do that again too. Okay, again. Today we're using that type of pen, okay, just to represent this knife. But uh, let's gonna do a breakdown real quick. So he stabbed me here. So uh, boom, when I block, I move my hip back. The reason why, if the guy is stronger than me, and I don't use the, the right angle of my arm, if I just go like that, first of all, the knife can come all the way through. Okay, so when I got a 90 degree or angle, boom, I move my hip back. Okay, because the knife doesn't have a chance to go all the way through. Same time, like I said, I punch, oh, ah, right here. Another thing, I never move my legs. I never do this, never, because I don't know where I am. Where I am. Okay, I can be, uh, in the, uh, in the stairs, it can be uh, close to the stairs, it can be uh, close to uh, uh, like a subway. Let's say I'm a subway. Okay, someone try to stab in the subway. You know, and then some, if I move back, I'm not gonna fall. So that's why I never move my, my legs, okay? I move my hips. Okay, go stab, <coughs> block, and then punch. Like I said, if I just wanna run away, I block, kick the ground, and then move away. But, if I need to disarm this guy, I'm gonna change the arm. What I'm gonna do, <coughs> turn my hand, <coughs> bring the arm to my chest. Now it doesn't have the chance to stab me right here, right? So now I need to strike, okay? Knee the groin, boom! 
Maybe twice. Boom. Hand the fist to the back part of the neck. Now, like a wrist lock, twist his wrist, and the knife comes out. He loses strength on his finger and his hands, okay? Like I said, we all do uh, everything we do here. It's not a sport. You see the last strike and the back part of the head. This is illegal in most of the fighting, uh, fighting, the fights, and most of the sports. Okay, that's why you all attack the, the, the weak points, the groin, eyes, back part of the neck, because one of the principles, especially in Krav Maga, stay alive. Okay, if you can use anything, weapon or anything you have, or attack, like I said, attack the weak points, everything for what? You stay alive. Okay. On behalf of the Land of Recruiting Battalion, I hope everybody enjoys this. And I gotta say, we are very grateful to have you. And we you. want to keep on doing this and keep this relationship going. Again, the Army has a combatives program. We have multiple <coughs> levels. You can look it up online, the Army Combatives Program. And please, go ahead and take a look uh, at Rodrigo. You can look him up online. He's got his uh, credentials. Again, he's worked with the military. We're very thankful to have him. And uh, any last words, Rodrigo? Yeah, I want to say I want to say a uh, big thank for the USA Army for the opportunity to be here and teach some stuff, some uh, some self defense, some combative stuff, and uh, say hi to my buddies in Israel, Itai, Hanakash, and uh, Lex Trapton. Okay, uh, those guys like the brothers in the, in the self defense and the my guy stuff. Okay, my gym X3 Sports. Okay, I teach over there as well, some combative, some self defense, and uh, uh, that's all. And uh, if you guys. Wanna wanna talk to me and say something? My website, archerlittlebjj.com or uh, uh, RodrigoMMA9 at gmail.com. That's my email. Okay. Thank you, guys. Have a great day.